guys, this is Greg Siegel from Codable, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can add images to your app. This is a very simple tutorial and requires no coding whatsoever. All you need is a few images and a little bit of time, and everything will go smoothly. So the first thing you need to do is go to Xcode and set up a create a new Xcode project. We'll go for a tab bar application just to make things a little bit easier, and we'll call it images. So you want to replace that. Thank you. Okay. So we're all set up, ready to go. We've got a fully working app. We've got a main window. And for mine, I'm going to build a um, animal app with animal pictures on it. So just align this. There you go. We'll see that. So for your for your app, all you need to do is go over to your views. So we got our first view and our second view already set up for us. I've got three images, so we're going to have to create another one. But if we just delete that text there. So all you need to do is drag in a UI image view and then go to image. And we haven't dragged it in, so you won't see anything here at first. But what I like to do is when I'm creating images is you need to go, I usually do a new group I rename it images, you can name it whatever you want to, and then what I'll do is I'll get my images, I've got three of a dog, which you have to copy into destinations folder, this way that if you delete it or if you miss, if it goes missing, then you always have a backup here that you can use again, so we just go finish, that should go into the file, there. you can see it's in the uh, images folder, and you just do the same thing with each image you have. This way it's nice and tidy and you have no worries about getting everything mixed up or lost. So it's, I think it's a really nice way of keeping your images together. Some people put it in different files down here which will cr already create a few but I just think it's a lot easier and a lot less hassle just to make a new folder. So that's all nice and tidy. So if we go to our first view we can then select one of our images. I'll select images 1. That's of a cat. It's a little bit out of focus, so I mean, when you do your app, you can do it in a lot more detail than I can. Um, but okay, so that's our cap. We can maybe add in a little bit of text. We can call it cat's picture. Just align that in the middle. And then for our second view, just delete the text and put in another image view. So for each image you have, you can put as many images as you want on one page. Um, and that's just, there we go, okay. Um, and all you have to do is each time you want a new image, you just drag in a new image view. And you just have to click on it, go to images, and select the image you want to, want to use. So we'll call this one rabbit picture. We'll align that, we'll just zoom in a little bit. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, and then for my third picture, we just have to have a new file UI view controller subclass and UI view controller. And then we'll call it third view. There we go, that's all sorted. Again, drag in the UI image view. Make sure you've got this. It's a very simple process. It'll become second nature once you've done it a couple of times. We'll add in our last image of the dog. Just align properly. I mean, this, this looks pretty bad, so when you do yours, you can make it a lot better than I can. Dog picture. Just align that. That's all sorted. If we just go over to our main window, we can connect all these bits and bobs up and we're all ready to go. So I'll just add in a wrong one. There we go. Tab bar. Okay, if we just call this one. Uh, nope. There we go. Call this one. I think the first one was a cat. Second one was a rabbit. Third one was a 
dog. And that's all sorted, apart from the fact that we need to do the nib. Um, and we'll call it third view. There we go. And we'll just link it up here, third view, and we're all ready to go. So we just need to go to iPhone for simulator. Zoom out, there we go, no errors whatsoever. It will build and run. Into our animal app, which has three images, one of a cat, it says cat picture, one of a rabbit, has a label of rabbit picture and a dog, which is a dog picture. And you can put as many images on one slide as you want to, you don't have to be restricted at all to how many pictures you put on one slide. I've just done one for this example. But there we have it, our functioning animal app. And that's good and ready to go. So you can adjust the sizes to anything you want. You can go over here, if we go back, if I go back to second view, you can come over here and you can exactly measure it the way you want it to. You can adjust this to make it very precise and fit exactly to your app. Um, but yeah, that, that's really it. It's very, very simple. Um, so that's adding images to your, to your app. Um, I'm Greg Siegel and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you later.